Okay. Metro Phone Unboxer subscribers. Here's the long-awaited Hydro Life by Kira Sierra review. Now, my last Hydro Phone review got a lot of slack because I, I apparently I wasn't fair to it. So I'm going to give this phone a full rundown. It's a Hydro Phone, so you know it's waterproof, shockproof, scratchproof, so as well as dustproof. It's got the lithium ion battery. It's got a SIM card, charger with a USB cable. You got yourself a quick start guide and a stereo Bluetooth. Oh no, that's optional. Boiler plate stuff on the back and it's got a sticker that says by opening this you agree to T-Mobile's something or other. So let's cut the sticker open. And before you tell me that I shouldn't sell the phones that I open, I don't. I just send them back to the warehouse. I tell them they're defective. So here we go. The phone just sits on the box like this. You got your SIM card on the side. It takes a micro SIM card. Pop out this. The battery comes right there. As you can tell, the phone's got a larger screen. It feels more like a phone. It's got the soft touch buttons on the bottom instead of being on the screen. It's got your flash, your memory pack. Is it LTE? Is it LTE is a good question. Does it do internet? It does do internet. That's a that's a lousy question. Ooh, we'll get in we'll get into the LTE later. Oh, I guess I should also mention that it's uh IPX7 certified, so it can it can last up to 3.28 feet meter for up to 30 minutes. Rated at military. Bear Grylls use this phone. Oh, we should get a launch kit for this, shouldn't we? So here's your charger cable, your charger block, and your quick start guide there at the bottom. Now this is where it gets tricky. So to open it up, you have the notch at the back right there. You just put your thumb in there. And you take the battery out of its packaging. Uno momento. Okay, so now that the battery is out of its packaging, it is a 2000 milliamp battery, so it's going to last a long time. And we're just going to slip it into the phone. Okay. That slot is where the SIM card and the SD card go. And as you can tell, there's a groove. And what happens with this groove is you match it up with the gasket, this orange gasket on the back, and that's what makes it waterproof. So to make sure that the phone's waterproof, you got to click it a lot. You're gonna make sure to always be clicking. That's where you, you charge in. So unlike the Galaxy waterproof things, or waterproof phones, they don't waterproof their charging port with another gasket. But you have to make sure that it is uh, snapped in otherwise the waterproof will not work and as you can tell on the side there it says engraved it says Qualcomm 3G 4G and time to turn on the phone the power button you will find is on the top of the phone and we're just gonna click it The phone does a little vibrate and then you see this Android looking figure it says Metro PCS Oh, it's got a little Kyocera boot screen. You can obviously tell that they're trying to get more sophisticated with their boot screens. This has been one of the most uh, quick to turn on phones. It still has their custom uh, user setup interface, which I'm just going to skip through. And we're at the home screen large screen now the 
biggest part that I want to try is the speakerphone because as you can tell it doesn't have a traditional speaker it uses sonic air technology which is why most of the curious air phones were returned is because they could not hear out of it even though it says listen crystal clear in all environments but it's got a quad hd screen as you can tell the picture is really nice the home screen scrolls it's got a thing called graphics that's their gallery app. And now we're going to go into the settings. We're going to drag down from the top, top here. Click that. So as you can tell, it's got KitKat installed. Oh, no, it doesn't have KitKat. It will have KitKat soon, so I'm told. The other thing about this phone that other Metro phones do not have is internal storage space. It has four gigabytes available, as well as an expandable for SD card. Most all Metro phones that don't cost over $500 have a, under two gigabytes of user internal memory. It's going to be a great selling point if you decide to get this phone. So far, the phone hasn't bugged out on me like the other one has, and the screen is reactive. It's hard to review the sound, so I'm going to listen to it on the, the earpiece, and I'm going to tell you what I think. Okay, I have just listened to the earpiece, and then I have also compared it to the Hydro Extreme, and there is a phenomenal difference between the two. So, to if, if there's anything I missed in this review, anything you'd like to see, please leave it in the comment section, and I will try and avert your uh, comments. This has been the Kia Sierra Hydro Life review. Go out and get this phone. I highly recommend this phone, actually. So you can tell that, you know, I just don't hate Curious earphones. And it's uh, time to uh, end the video. And goodbye.